What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a very exciting video. If you're not aware by now, you really should be because it's been like a week. We are getting every legendary back in the new DLC coming up and I'm on a special showdown server. Um, the link to this showdown server will be in the description down below if you guys want to play on it. But this showdown server has a ton of formats like dream formats, random formats that you didn't really think about, draft formats. It's actually pretty popping right now because there were a lot of people try, trying out teams for um, what we believe to be the Series 7 rules. They already announced the Series 7 rules, but there are some particulars that aren't completely clear. Uh, however, we're, we're pretty certain that these are the rules that are what that are going to be implemented next season. So I'm going to be showcasing this Thievil in DD team, or Thievil Tapu Lele team, my bad, uh, and Defiant, <laughs> plus like Defiant Thunderous and Samrush. Um, Sandrush uh, Dracovish. So if you guys are excited for that, do me a favor, leave a like in the video. Let's try to reach 200 likes on this. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, appreciate it. And comment down below what you are most excited to see in the upcoming DLC. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I've already played a couple of games, um, but let me let me break down the team. I really just hopped on here and built what I thought would be like just a very basic team of what I want to run when I end up making this hyper offense team. Um, there are no particular EV spreads yet. Like they're all 252. But that's because this this is just me messing around with some stuff on the server. But uh, we have Choice Scarf, Tapu Lele, Expanding Force, coming off a 130 base special attack is disgusting. Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moonblast. I'm carrying both of these because there are going to be some situations where I want to click one or the other. I can't remember if Tapu Lele gets Mystical Fire, but I think I like having Dazzling Gleam over that. Um, and the Shadow Ball is pretty useful for, um, for hitting Ghost types. Uh, which I'm not certain what we're really going to see. I know Cresselia is something I've seen occasionally from Trick Room teams, but I think Shadow Ball will be useful over the fire move, uh, but I might end up running something to hit Kartana. Next up, we have Psychic Seed Thievil. Wow, that's Runaway. It should not be that. It should be um, Unburden. And not Baton Pass, you got to be Snarl. <laughs> so it's the standard support Thievil spread that I ran before. Max HP, max speed, four special defense. Unburden gives me double speed, allowing me to fake tears, whatever I need to. We're running Howl on this Thievil to boost the attack of my Thunderous, Tyranitar, Dracovish, or Gyarados. Uh, Thunderous actually has great synergy with the rest of the team because Dracovish with Sandrush and a Choice Band is even scarier than other Dracovish from like the previous format where we had to run, um, where we had to run the Choice Scarf. This one technically has the same damage output. However, I'm able to run an Adamant Nature, and I'm faster than many things in the format. Um, I could actually put like a Life Orb on this if I wanted to, but the Life Orb is... Um, I mean, like I, I guess I could run a Life Orb on it. In fact, maybe I'll put the Life Orb on this Thunderous just to increase the damage output. I like the, the Lumberry, uh, but that's because the original version of this team had a Life Orb Dragapult. Uh, but yeah, it has great damage output, and also it like is just so fast. Uh, we have Tyranitar with weakness policy, just max HP, max speed, or max attack, standard dish set, and we have safety goggles, taunt, uh, Gyarados, which is just really useful for stopping Trick Room. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm excited to play some games. So far, I'm undefeated on this account. Um, I'm on Moxie unlocked for some reason, but ooh, -hoo -hoo. all right, GLHF. This looks like this looks like a phenomenal game for Thunderous. I can actually probably lead off uh, Thunderous Lele and be pretty safe. It scares off a lot of things that he would want to go for. Dracovish in the back is really nice, and I think my last Pokemon here, I could go Gyarados to uh, intimidate this guy, taunt a couple of things, but I think overall Tyranitar is going to be really useful for that sand uh, to boost the speed of my Dracovish. And with dynamic speed, like this thing is going to be really nasty. I'm so excited for this format. This is going to be a really fun thing to team build around. Tapu Lele is going to be disgusting too, and Tapu Coco, like, it's it's still gross, because it has rising voltage now, it's going to be really nasty. Let me uh, push my microphone back, I feel like it's a little bit too close to my face, there we go. Excuse me if the audio just, like, drops in volume right there. I'm going to turn on the DS timer, let's get realistic. Let's get real. oh, the timer's already on. <laughs> okay, uh, he's taking a minute. I mean, like... If you aren't aware of previous formats, I guess this is a good video to educate you. Uh, this is what a team would have looked like in uh, would have looked like in 2018. But ooh, I can live with this. I can live with this. So um, my Thunderous is going to get the attack boost here. I don't think Landris will want to stay in here. I feel like he may actually try to set up a trick room to um, get into a better position. So I'm going to take advantage of the situation. I'm going to go ahead and max Airstream, and 
I suppose Expanding Force may pick up a KO on this thing, but I'm not certain, so I'll Shadow Ball just to play it safe. Landris can't take me out, I think, so we'll just go ahead and go with that. And excuse me if you hear someone outside, they're, they're yelling outside, they're going crazy. Going absolutely bonkers. Let's see if he protects. Alright, thank you, child, for screaming. Tapu Fini comes in. Uh, I believe plus one should KO with the life orb. Yes, okay. I feel like that life orb is what really made the difference. Uh, if, you, if you're new to VGC, that is one of the most infuriating Pokemon to face. As they just forfeit, they're like, man, I, I don't got anything for this man's sauce. Please excuse me while I close the window so we don't have to hear screaming children. Okay. Window is now closed, and I almost just tripped on my chair. I'm an idiot. All right. So, yeah, like, this is hyper offense. I, I, in previous formats, I've been a much more bulky team builder. Like, I like to, I like to make teams where, like, there's, there's a situation I can play out of if I'm defensively, if I play defensively enough, if I get b good board positioning down. But, I don't know, something about Lele Thievil just makes me go crazy, and I just want to play hyper offense. Because, like, you want to intimidate the Dracovish, right? You want to intimidate the Dracovish, so you, you lead off with Landers. But then you're like, hold on, I just gave him a plus one Thunderous. What, what am I doing? What, what am I doing here? There are a lot of people online, too. Hopefully, uh, more people I can get games with. It's taking a second. What's my rating? Right now, um... Well, nothing, really. I guess they don't have an official ladder. <laughs> I guess I'll just pause it till we get a match. Okay, here we are. It only took like a second there. Um, but Tyrantrum is interesting. It looks like... Maybe like Grassy Seed Tyrantrum or something. Uh, I expect a Tailwind to come out here, so I have to play pretty carefully around this. I almost want to lead off Gyarados, but... Man. It's the real Moxie Pog Champ. <laughs> GLHF. This is a scary team. Like, um, I'm not sure what I do versus Metagross. Maybe I can go... I can probably go Thievul Lele here. I mean, they don't have an Intimidator, so Thunderous isn't as powerful. Uh, and I'll probably just go Tyranitar Dracovish for some more hyper offense stuff. Okay. Um, I actually like this lead quite a bit. Tyrantrum could be scary. I, I kind of want to foul play into Shadow Ball. Is he bulldozed Tyrantrum? Let me check something. Does that thing get that? It does. Ooh, if he scarf bulldozed, this is going to be a good situation for me. So I'm going to uh, Shadow Ball up here, and I'm also going to go ahead and go for the Foul Play. I think he's going to Dynamax this thing, but um, Foul Play is going to be doing a lot. Give him his Weakness Policy. Shadow Ball is going to be doing a lot. As he bulldozes, lowering everything's speed. He doesn't remove the Thievul, which is honestly going to be his downfall here. Um, Tyrantrum is pretty slow, I believe. At 71 base speed. I mean, if he's, he's probably Jolly Scarf. Yeah, he's probably a Jolly Scarf, so I'll actually get in my, my Tyranitar here. I'll outspeed his his boy, which is nice. Uh, and I can Dynamax up. I'll go ahead and I'll just go for a... Um, I could Max Knuckle the Tyrantrum. I'm, I'm pretty certain it's going to be Scarf Tyrantrum to make sure he outspeeds his own boy. Uh, so we'll foul play here. This will do a lot. As he Max Guards, makes sense. Uh, I get a, I get, a, I get an attack boost there. Uh, I have to be really careful here. I, I think I can live without Thievul because I do have Dracovish in the back just to reverse sweep him. So I'll go ahead and I'll max Rockfall, and I will also. Ooh. I will also go for. Mm, I mean, I want to Rockfall this thing right to make sure I, I KO it. But he's probably going to outspeed me with this, and he's going to redirect away the hit and KO the Tyranitar. I think I'm fine just to foul play and rock fall. In the end, I think it ends up working itself out. Yeah, because Dracovish comes in, we have double speed for the next three turns. So we can just KO this thing. Uh, 
Ooh, Grassy Glide's gonna be annoying, but I think I can live with that, um, because we can just Rockfall it. Plus one Rockfall should KO, and he's only gonna give me my weakness policy if he decides to attack. We'll Ficious Rend here. Oh, I forgot I got close combat this gen. That's so nasty. Oh, I just lost. Uh, let me see. Maybe he's Choice Band? If he's Choice Band, I can win. I'll just attack the Tyrantrum. Ah, now he lives. GG. Yeah, it looks like that's Choice Band if he went for it again. Ooh, okay, so that, that, that's some sauce. I, I did not expect Tyrantrum to live that hit. What's its defense? Oh, it's got huge physical defense. That makes sense. Okay. All right, uh, this is actually pretty cool. Entei got a buff, so it, it now has Inner Focus. Uh, or now you can use Inner Focus. It always had it, uh, which makes it immune to Intimidate. What I'm going to do is I'm going to expect him to lead off with his Intimidator. Uh, and he's super Defiant Thunderous Week. He's very, very Defiant Thunderous Week. I can keep Tapu Lele in the back uh, because it will allow me to reset his terrain and keep me safe versus the Coco in case he decides to uh, go for like an early Dynamax or something. So what I'll do is I'll lead off Tyranitar. Uh, we'll bring Tapu Lele in the back. And I think I have to bring Dracovish this game because it helps me out versus the Celesteela in case my, um, in case my Thunderous goes down. Okay. So, um... Coco could speed boost here. I'm not terribly concerned with that. I think I can one-shot this thing with Wild Charge. Hmm. This is actually a really scary play. I'm going to max Lightning into Celesteela. Or actually, ooh, he might actually just switch in Landorus Therian. That's the issue here. I think, if anything, he would attack into Thunderous. Hmm. I'm going to make a really iffy play. I'm going to max Airstream into Tapu Coco and get in Dracovish. As they end up Dynamaxing. That's actually really scary. I thought they would switch out Celesteela. And they Starfall the Dracovish. No. <laughs> no. Hopefully they Heavy Slam. They might Steel Roller. That'd be terrifying. Or Leech Seed? Steel Roller. Okay. So that gets rid of Terrain. Um, I can actually get in my Lele here. And do a ton to this Tapu Koko. And I think I actually... Hmm. I think Lightning plus Expanding Force will KO the Celesteela. Okay, yeah. I forgot uh, Thunderous is faster. That was a that was a bad... That was my bad. <laughs> I just made a really, really weird play there. Because I, I forgot. I, I'm Choice Scarf on my Lele, so I expected it to outspeed. Uh, but I did, I did a stupid. Okay, uh, Tyranitar is looking better and better as we go on here. Uh, and so is... So is my boy, uh, th uh, Thunderous. And Lele is actually going to be really nasty in the endgame. So, I am locked into Expanding Force. I think what I'll do here is expect them to max Lightning, and I'll get in my Tyranitar. Uh, so here, I could just actually go for the, um... Hmm. I think I'll just get damage off on the Cresselia and get in Tyranitar. Hopefully they don't go for, um, what I think they're going to go for. I think they're going to go for a Starfall. I really prefer if they didn't. Alright, they just max Lightning Thunderous, which is fine, because I just went with Lele now. Yeah, that's game. Uh, expanding Force plus Crunch will do it. So Expanding Force, tap Coco, Crunch, Cresselia, that's going to be game. Good old Choice Scarf, man. Choice Scarf, Lele. I feel like that's going to be the play for the season. There's the Protect. Uh, that That's not going to take the 30%. As Ooh, okay. I mean, it's still fine. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. They have another Pokemon. Guys, am I stupid? Oh my god, I'm stupid. I mean, I'm still faster than the than the Landorus. Because I am Scarf. Hmm. Maybe I just Expanding Force Rock Slide. Play Rough doesn't KO me, but I'm probably going to get KO'd here. Ooh, okay. As he Rock Slides? Uh, yeah, we win. Good game. That, that was really close. It ended up being Physical Coco. I, I thought it'd be special. I guess it makes sense. Now they got Play Rough, it's really cool. GG. Yeah, Physical Coco's nice. I guess there's very little reason to run special beyond using um, Rising Voltage, which I was fearing that entire game. Hmm. By the way, guys, uh, if you're not a Patreon... Check out the Patreon. I actually uh, uploaded a 
video yesterday showcasing a different team that I was testing out. So yeah, if you guys uh, want to check that out, that, that's an extra video. And didn't I just face you? I don't know. There's a lot of Entei going on right now. There's a lot of Entei going on. Uh, however, he does have an Intimidator there, so I will lead off with uh, Thunderous. Thunderous is just such a solid lead in this format. Such a solid lead. He could have Bulldoze on the Entei, I'm pretty sure it gets that. Hmm. We will go Thunderous Tyranitar. Or maybe Thunderous Dracovish. Hmm. Because I just like late game Lele. We'll go Thunderous Dracovish Tyranitar Lele. So far, no reason to bring the Gyarados. I might end up switching that out in the final version of the team. And I'm concerned about the Bulldoze more than anything. So I'll get in the Tyranitar here. I'm willing to sack it early so I can vicious run this Entei. Because it's most likely Choice Scarf. As he Dynamaxes, go ahead and remove that. You will not be getting your weakness policy today, sir. As he Hailstorms, and we actually survive. Phenomenal. So we should be going for, um... Hmm. Do I switch out here? He's probably going to Freeze Dry me. I would assume he would Freeze Dry. And the Steel move is going to come out onto the uh, Tyranitar. I'll get in Thunderous here. And also Hard Switch in Lele. As he steel spikes, we live that. He gets a defense boost. Freeze dries, no freeze. No freeze? Okay, cool. Um, and, I mean, what I could do here is, since Tapu Lele is the fastest thing on the field, I definitely don't want to give that, give that thing its weakness policy. And I am pretty concerned about him going for his... Um, because he should Steel Spike the Lele here, if anything, right? Hmm. I'll go ahead. And I will Airstream into Lapras as well as Expanding Force. Because this thing isn't too hard to deal with. As long as my Thunderous survives the turn, I can get in Dracovish later. So I'll Expanding Force and Max Airstream. And that combination of moves should do it. As he protects, oh god, I have made a critical error. Tell me you targeted Lele. Okay, that's fine. Hmm. What does more? I mean, I can outspeed him with plus one crunch. He hasn't revealed protect yet. Uh, so what I'll actually do here is I will go for... I need a speed boost on this Tyranitar, I think, if I want to win. But I think Dracovish supports it well enough. We could just Lightning into Crunch. Alright, no, I have to Speed Boost if I want to KO him. Yikes, that's actually really scary. Hmm. Dang it. Um, I need damage. I'll Airstream. And I will Protect. Maybe just Crunch. I mean, I don't want to lose to Lapras in the endgame. This is such a difficult decision. I'll Protect her. Okay, get a nice little speed boost. We now have uh, more speed in a Tyranitar. We do have one more turn of Dynamax. Um, I mean, I can just speed boost again. I'm mostly concerned with this Metagross, because I can beat everything in the back with uh, Dracovish. Tabu Coco is, is no issue. So I'll max airstream again into the Metagross to ensure that we're doing enough here, and I'll crunch. And at plus two speed, I believe I outspeed Tapu Koko. I'm not certain. <laughs> oh, we get our weakness policy. Yeah, we win. This will do it. Awesome. Okay, and we get in the Dracovish now. We also have Rock Slide. So I'll go in, I'll Ficious Ren Coco, and I'll Rock Slide. Or I could Superpower just to ensure I get the KO. Is he Scarf Coco? That'd be so terrifying. I don't know. Oh no, I'm, uh, he's not Scarf Coco, because I'm at 162 speed, and this thing hits 201. Or, this thing hits 200, exactly. Uh, plus 2 superpower will do it, so I'll just... Yeah. That'll KO? Phenomenal. I mean, I'm gonna heal him up, but... Yeah, we're good. I haven't revealed Choice Band, so... <laughs> got kinda lucky there. He ended up forfeiting. 
Okay. And I guess, like, it does take a while to get matches here. So I, I guess I'll just keep pausing between games. Alright. So we do have a game here. Um, wow, that's terrifying. Coaching. <laughs> I'm scared of coaching on the, on the, um, on the Feromosa. Let me check something. One of my buddies, a subscriber to this channel, made an app for this exact situation. It's called Extreme Speed, and it lets me quickly check speed tiers. So Tapu Lele. Let's apply max speed and a choice scarf. And let's compare it to Feromosa with max speed. Except this Lele is a neutral nature. <sighs> We're slower than Feromosa, guys. Uh, what about Thievil? Uh, Thievil will definitely outspeed. So, oh, what about Dracovish, though? Adamant Dracovish, just Adamant plus two Dracovish outspeed. Dracovish, max speed. Mm. Plus two, but a neutral nature. We do outspeed with Dracovish. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to lead off Dracovish. I'll bring Tyranitar in the back. And I, oh, I just got a new Twitch follower. Thank you, whoever just subscribed. Uh, I think I have to bring Thunderous in the back. Actually, we'll do this. We'll do Dracovish, Thunderous. Yeah, Dracovish, Thunderous. Tyranitar in the back, and I'm still not seeing much of a use for the Gyarados because of the ever-present Coco, so I'll bring Lele. <laughs> it's everything I've ever feared. Alright, Ficious Ren, switching the, the Tyranitar. Hopefully they just go for like an Ice Beam into Thunderous, because I should outspeed Feromosa, and that's likely going to be Focus Sash. Sometimes you see, um, oh yeah, and, and this, I'm fine, I'm fine, because I'm going to one-shot the Feromosa. And the uh, sand will actually pick up the KO from there. There's the coaching. Oh no, it's it's not even Sash. I was gonna say if if I get it in range, like I'll just KO. There's Tapu Finny. Um, not terribly concerned with that. I'm not sure what Riolu would want to do here, so I might just vicious run into that slot. And I can get in. Maybe I just protect here. Could also fish Ren Finny. I think I'd rather get rid of Riolu. Riolu seems terrifying. Get him Lele. Block any priority moves he might be going for. Alright, yeah, he's gonna Dynamax there. As he coaches. That's fine. Thunderous uh, should be Thunderous should be easy money. And we haven't locked ourselves into a move yet. Man, I wish I could see your final Pokemon right now. Let me get in the Thunderous. As it's Tapu Koko. Okay. Um, mostly concerned with Tapu Finny. Mostly concerned with Tapu Finny, but I think I can win by doing this. I'll go ahead and I'll airstream into Finny. No. I max lightning the Finny. I'm scared of weakness policy. I'm so scared of weakness policy. Let me get in Tyranitar. Alright, Wild Charge doesn't do too much. Are you policy? Don't be policy. Honestly, is the best policy. Okay. <laughs> we end up winning with uh, Choice Scarf Lele in the end, so we're good. We're good. Um, I can actually go ahead and Airstream the Coco here. And Rock Slide. Yeah. Because this will net this will net me a KO on the Coco. Okay, good. Take out the Tyranitar. I get in Lele. And now I just airstream expanding force. Good game. Good game. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Wild charge expanding force. Thunderous. Remove this man from the field. Oh, almost. Okay. <laughs> expanding force will pick up the KO though. Awesome. Alright, good game. Good game. Let's get one more. Let's get one more battle. Alright, that was quick. Ooh, this one is terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. But we finally get to bring the Gyarados. And the reason Gyarados is so solid in the lead is because it's an Intimidate on all of these boys. And I can also 
survive a hit from that thing. And I can also avoid getting um, slept. So we'll lead off Gyarados here. He might actually be my Dynamax target, funny enough. And I think Gyarados plus... Hmm. What's, uh, what's Venusaur speed? Gyarados is 81. All right, so we are going to outspeed with Gyarados if I switch in Tyranitar fast enough. All right, we'll go Gyarados, Dracovish, and we'll bring Tyranitar in the back. And the reason I'm doing this is because uh, Dracovish is very, very good on the lead because I can switch up my game plan and switch in Tyranitar if they end up not leading off with Sun. And I think my last Pokemon is going to be that Scarf Lele because it's just so good. Speed Swap. It's Speed Swap. This is Speed Swap. I'm going to go ahead and remove Stack Attacker from play. They're going to Speed Swap right now. Vicious around the stack. I will not allow... Because it's going to be Sash Speed Swap, I guarantee you. Alright, uh, switch in Tyranitar, Vicious around the stack. That's the only thing I could see coming out of this situation. Because if you give Stack Attack a max speed... <sighs> no. <laughs> That's not a good situation. They switch in the Torkoal? That's fine. I should, this should prevent Trick Room, 100%. Yes, okay. So they didn't speed swap. There's the Feromosa. I actually naturally outspeed Feromosa, funny enough. So what I can do here is I can get in the Gyarados and Ficious Rent Feromosa. And that should put me in a situation where if it is Sash, they will die to Sand. Because they can't reset the... Uh, they can't reset the weather to anything that'll uh, prevent them from dying after Sash. And it's not like Torkoal's threatening anything on the field besides maybe with Body Press. That could possibly one-shot my Tyranitar, but I don't think so. So I'll just go ahead and I'll switch out into Gyarados to uh, get an Intimidate off here. Yep, there's the Sash. They will drop to the Sand damage as they close combat me. Thank you, sir. They Earth Power me. <sighs> You're about to get vished. All right, and there's the Tapu Lele. Uh, we are guaranteed faster than the Lele, even if it were to be Scarf, since uh, my Lele was actually slower than the other one. Or actually, is it? Let me double check. There's another there's another job for the app. By the way, the app will be available at some point. I'm not sure when he's releasing it, but I helped him beta test it. It's so good. So maximum speed choice Scarf is slower than us, just barely though. So we can fish this right into that, and also I'll max Airstream as well. Just in case. Because they might Dynamax. Yeah, they Dynamax. Boom. Okay. Max Airstream. Good game. GG. Hyper offense is looking really solid. Let's let's give it up for let's give it up for Mr. Fish. Let's give it to the Dracovish here. Awesome. So that was a, that was a really fun session. I'm, I'm I'm really looking forward to this new format. It's going to be super solid. I'm excited to see what other teams people come up with. I'm trying to get games more frequently. So if you guys aren't aware of this of this server where you're able to play this format, link in the description down below. It's p it's sports.psim.us. I will see you guys over there. But until then, leave a like in the video, comment down below what you're excited to see, join the Discord, do whatever. Subscribe to our notifications. Notifications are the biggest thing. Gets me views. But yeah, have a nice night. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.